uh, I don't have too much to talk about for you guys today. Um, I've got mostly good news and one single solitary piece of bad news. So, you know, just do the usual thing. Uh, check out right here in the timestamps. All of them are posted right there to go exactly to where you want to be in the video. Check out each particular story. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so guys, I've got some good news for you. The HTC Vive Pro headset. It's been out for a few years now. Uh, 2018, I believe. And while it's not necessarily a full update or full upgrade over the baseline HTC Vive, it does have a high resolution of 2880 by 1600, along with a 90 hertz refresh rate. And of course, a slightly better comfort ratio. Uh, the biggest downside of this is that while the headset itself has been reduced in price down to $599, that does not cover the tracking system at all. So it doesn't come with the base station or the controllers. And in order to get that combo, that will run you a grand total of $1,200. So hopefully you guys are able to are able to grab that assuming you haven't already grabbed maybe the Cosmos or the Oculus Rift S or something else. So, you know, do it do you. And you know that news about the HTC Vive Pro is comforting because it's going to be next to impossible for you to find a Valve Index headset. For those of you that still haven't found one, at least. Uh, in the event that you do feel like playing Half-Life Alex, the closest thing we'll be getting to Half-Life 3 for a long time, well, let's just say you'll be better off playing it on Oculus or a, one of HTC's headsets. Because like I said, Valve Index going to be hard to find. But as with anything on the internet, you know, do enough digging, it'll show up. Thankfully, Valve is working on making up their stock before the game actually ships in March. So you have a couple months to actually grab your own, your own first party headset to, to play your very own first party game and take care of, uh, take special care to use all the capabilities of the headset and be able to enjoy the game to its fullest possible extent. So, you know, be patient, do some digging, you know, that, that whole thing. It, it's the internet, people. Okay, now this next piece of news is flippin' amazing. It's got a, a ton of news, a ton of future stuff, and a ton of tech, and th this stuff's a future. That, that's really all I can say. This, ah, I, I can't even wrap my head around it. It's just so, so, so amazing. Okay, now a, a small tech startup called Mojo Vision, which was founded back in 2015 and has since raised $100 million, has developed a... Uh, an augmented reality contact that you just sit on your eye and has a ton of technology packed in, including a micro LED screen, a microprocessor, wireless communication, and a ton of sensors. All of them operated by eye movement. Now, the biggest difference between this and eye tracking in a VR headset is that this eye tracking system is going to not only track your movement, but allow you to select products simply simply by using your eye as the cursor. Crazy, right? Yeah, I thought so. Now, in order to select something, all you have to do is stare at it. Now, while this is still just a prototype, and as such is limited to very few, very few functions, including weather conditions and commute times, they are they are aiming for far far grander cases 
including subtitles for con foreign conversations, fitness statistics, and, well, just a whole host of other options. Like, this, the, just the, the amount of stuff that they could just pack into this thing, it, it's, it, it's difficult for me to wrap my head around. And I do not say that lightly. Now, as far as as far as what the American Optometrist Associations believe, this is already they are already optimistic about the prospect of this. And like I said, this is just in the nor in the early stages where it will just give you an overlay over uh, the world at large. However, they, they are aiming for more augmented reality or more uh, a much more interactive scenario than they currently have. So, personally, I'm expecting big things out of this, and hopefully you are too. Now, I realize I've given you guys a lot of good news at this point, but I do have to give you guys at least one piece of bad news. And that is that Iron Man in VR, which was originally slated to launch at the end of next month on the 28th, has since been pushed down to May 15th. This is in line with Camouflage's tweet the other day saying that it is done to deliver on our vision to meet the high expectations of players. However, thankfully, uh, we do have. Shigeru Miyamoto to, to thank for one specific quote, and that is a delayed game is eventually good, but a bad game is bad for us. So, hopefully Marvel's Iron Man VR is going to be good, at least for a little bit. And eventually, it'll be good. So, at least one piece of silver lining you know and with that i will leave you guys now however i do have a few quick announcements first uh if you check down in the description you can find a stadia email buddy pass whatever an invite code good for three free months of stadia pro um i'm also accepting requests for custom beat saber maps i'm trying to get into that as well as if you guys feel like finding me on Facebook, just, you know, search for Freak1408. I, I post all these videos on there, and my other channel also posts on my Facebook. So, if I hope you guys enjoyed all this. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news, being so, I, I don't know, what's the word, emotional, I guess? Uh, later.